Hello, this is the Aftermarket Report with Vegas and Jim on November the 26th, 2018. And I'm going to hand this right over to Vegas. Hi, good evening, everyone. Hope everyone had a great trading day. I got to tell you, watching our videos has helped so many people. A lot of stocks we talked about yesterday actually were on scanners today. And uh, that was nice. So uh, congratulations to some of the traders that uh, did watch and actually traded green. So good job. Uh, today we're going to be talking about any RGSC, BIOS, and GBR. So let's first start with any. Now Jim talked about this last night. And in the video, he actually said that he anticipates a potential breakout on this stock. And boy, was Jim ever right. And what a breakout this had. So Jim, I'm going to turn it over to you now to talk about the action that took place on this chart today. Well, we could tell, you know, that this stock was getting ready to do something a couple days ago. It was like a volcano getting ready to erupt. And so that kind of started back here when it was around $3 and then bounced up to about six bucks and pulled back and consolidated for a couple of days and Vegas and I noticed Friday that it was starting to starting to do something and then wow did exactly what we said it was going to pull back first thing in the morning and then break out and it broke out to look at eight dollars and seventy cents and then pulled back to that two hundred let's see what it looks like on a, on a one day one minute kind of about the same thing we broke above, broke out at right out the morning, we hit that 831, pulled back and hit the 200 SMA, bounced back up, pulled back and hit it again, which I did call another buy period, buy signal. Then we started and we hit the high of 870, and we had a double top up there at the 870 on them candlestick wicks. So then it kind of pulled back the rest of the day, and so here we sit right after hours at 627. I don't know what to expect out of it tomorrow. I think it regained compliance five days ago. That's one good thing for it. So this is any, and keep it on watch. All right. And the next one is GSE. Now, this one I've talked about not too long ago. So congratulations if you swing traded this one. Um, we talked about this when it was in the high 40. And this is real goods solar and i was talking about how they have a backlog of back orders and uh you know there's going to be a huge mandate in the future especially in 2020 it becomes mandatory that you have to have solar panels on especially on new homes uh it's going to make it mandatory for those builders especially if you guys custom build a house it's going to be mandatory so it's going to become more and more popular the solar panels and uh, RGSC had a beautiful run today, and uh, I like that it crossed the 200-day. Now, I'm going to let Jim talk about what he sees next on the chart for some support and resistance. But we finally saw some action today after holding this for a couple weeks. All right. Well, here we are, RGSE. And we noticed that this has, a, has had a very nice run. I'm going to pull up a 20-day chart on it. And you can see it's been running for a good two to three weeks, 15 days. And we had a high today, real nice breakout to 82 cents. Now we called this, I think, on our video um, on Sunday, said hold on tight to it. And we drew up the resistance lines and we hit every one of them. So this is RGSE. I think we still got a ways to go with it. We kind of had a nice little pullback today. It's kind of the first healthy one I've seen since we've been watching it. And I'm going to see if I can magnify this up a little bit. But we hit a high of about 82 cents right up here, almost 83. And then we had that real strong pullback. And I started alerting the room right here around 72, 74 cents. I said, this is probably where you want to start looking at it. So it bounced up, and then we had that double double bottom touch right here at 72.5 again. And it ran on up and hit that resistance kind of create a little channel so it I think it closed very well kind of closed up with a nice little flag 
So let's see what this thing does tomorrow. I'm still bullish on it. I mean, I'm bullish on this for a big bounce because I'm going to pull up the one-year chart on it. This thing can go big ways, and we're starting to fill the gap. And exactly, we kind of hit the gap here. You see this little section right here? That's right around 79.47. So I'd say right around 80 cents. So we're taking it up to another leg. And that's going to be right around 91. So keep RGSE on watch. And it's definitely bullish. And I'm going to clear up this chart tonight and start fresh with it. Look how, <laughs> look how dirty it is. So the next one we're going to talk about is BIOS. Yeah, so this one's BioScript. And uh, this is a very interesting one here because I liked the fact that it was making new 52-week high. And uh, I think that's what it was doing earlier today. I oh, like yeah. the volume on it. But also it looks like it's taken a while, like, this move that we saw happen uh, today, I think, took a long time for this stock to get back here again to this price point. So um, I think it was sitting, this happened maybe about two years ago, if I'm correct here, on this chart. But I'm going to let Jim talk about that. But this has taken a long time to finally get to this price point on BIOS and actually I'm personally looking for a continuation on this stock uh, into probably tomorrow. So if you're not in it, keep it on your watch list for a potential obviously day trade. And uh, for those of you that like swing trades, this has a really nice setup. And then I'll let Jim talk about what he sees here on this beautiful chart. Well, you can tell by looking at this yearly chart on it, that we did have a 52 uh, week high today. Now this 320 right here, we tried to hit that one, two, three, four, and then on this fifth time, we started showing that we could we could bust past that 320. And then once we pulled back and we hit that 52 SMA at 302, 303, thing just bounced up. So this is the second day that it's broke out. And this is even on a three year chart. It's still a three-year three year high. See what I'm saying right there? So let's pull this on back. I'm going to pull it back to a uh, daily one minute. And we could tell right out of the gate that this thing was starting to break out. So it was on our radar all day long. And it ran above the 50 SMA and touched a couple times on that 100. And I use these three moving averages quite a bit, usually on the yearly, daily, and also on a daily minute. And I usually use it as a day trade on the minute. Use it as re re uh, references to support level or maybe a uh, resistance level. So keep BIOS on watch. We're definitely bullish on it. We're riding the 52 week highs. And GBR is next. Okay, so with GBR, this is New Concept Energy. Yep. And this one here is actually trigger on scanners. I think I know some people that have this stock actually from a little bit before looking to swing trade the stock. But I will say I don't blame them for having the stock earlier, even last week. And part of the reason was that the, the weekly chart is nice and bullish. I mean, it had an outside day. It crossed above the 50-day again today. It did fall below that, actually, last week. And it didn't make the chart look as pretty. But today, it finally got back up there. And uh, I think I'm going to expect some continuation on this stock tomorrow. And, Jim, what do you think about GBR, New Concept Energy? Well, I'm looking at the chart right now, and I'm drawing up a few trend lines. I've got the year's chart. We had a real nice big breakout on this thing back oh, back in six. Looks like it's about seven two. It ran all the way up to twelve seventy five. Then it pulled all the way back, and here we are sitting at two thirty five right now. It's had a couple of nice little breakouts since, and it's kind of 
made a little bitty, um, oh, I don't know, kind of like a flag here at the end. It's getting ready to do something right now. So let me pull up the 20-day chart, kind of magnify it a little bit more, draw a couple more trend lines that I see worthy. I like the one it had in July of 1270. Was really good. Yes, uh, that's, and even back in uh, let's see here, back in September, it had a nice run too. Yep. So we had a nice little breakout here at close. We're at two forty right now. Let's see if we can bring this up to two forty four, around two. I'd say this two forty seven area, and if it breaks past that, we're off Ooh. to the next level up about two seventy. Oh, I love that. And then you have a support level right around two oh nine. 209218. So GBR, we definitely keep it on watch. Okay. Well, that is our market report for today. We keep it short and sweet for Mondays because there's a lot going on and we want to talk about picks that, you know, some of these picks we talked about are nice for swing trades. So I think, uh, except for any at this point, but RGSC, BIOS, GBR, I think we'll see some action, maybe not just tomorrow, but maybe throughout the week. So keep those on watch. Uh, just to mention, too, if you are a subscriber to the YouTube channel, we thank everybody. But if you are located out in this San Francisco area, I did want to mention that Stocktwits has a event located on Howard Street in San Francisco at Tank 18. And this venture is going to be a $5 fee. I'll put the link in our video description. And it's going to be an open bar and free food. And it's going to be a stock twits future forum. And it's just a way for the community to get together. But there are going to have um, a couple of special speakers. And uh, one of them is JC Parrots of All Star Charts. And another gentleman by the name of Dave from Aspen Trading. So if you're in the San Fran area, you definitely will want to check this event out sponsored and hosted by stock twits and that's it anything else to add jim tonight no no i think we did real good on our sunday report by all them alerts we mentioned and i was real pleased with any and i'm still bullish on any any just kind of wait for a little pullback and for it to consolidate and i think she's going to be kind of fun one to play this month yes and you know what i was really these really took her as fet had a nice little run today uh from the open at 469 ran all the way to 789 so which, which still one holding was that, that again? stock uh safety group sfet these really took her oh yeah sfet yep so nice volume on it finally at 281 000 shares plus so that did get some uh volume today and we'll see if it is um, but yeah, I was very pleased with the watch list. So uh, congratulations to a lot of the traders and uh, subscribers. And thank you so much. So on that note, I wish everyone a really good night and a great tra day tomorrow. If you're not in part of a chat group, again, feel free to come join us in our room. It's free for two weeks. If you're a new subscriber and uh, after you come check out the room, you decide you want to join. It's only $35, but you know, you need to see if it's for you first. And that's why we like to give everyone a free trial for two weeks. And then you make your own decision if you like it or not. And we hope that you actually like it and join and be part of the group. All On right. that note, thank you so much, everyone. I love stock so much and love all you have a beautiful night. This is the aftermarket report with Vegas and Jim. November the 26th, 2018, and we love stocks.